This program contains true stories of rescues. All of the 911 calls you will hear are real. Whenever possible, the actual people involved have helped us reconstruct the events as they happened. afternoon of October 30th, 1991, in Fresno, California, Carol Arzati had to go pick up her young daughter from the babysitter. Her 12-year-old son, Aaron, was left home alone for no more than an hour. Aaron had a firecracker in his room. To school, walked up to him and said, Hey, Aaron here, and gave it to him. Help came into 911 at 4:32 p.m. And you're hurt? I am. What happened? I I did, I did an M80 in the house and it blew my hand off. Okay. Oh. Stay right there. Okay. Just cover it up. Stop the bleeding. Okay. okay. Stay on the line. Hold on. Oh. The call was routed to an EMS dispatcher specially trained to administer medical aid over the phone. Franz Melcher. And what's this touch? Hi, fire transfer. We're gonna roll on this. Okay. What's wrong? I blew my hand off. I don't bleed. You blew it off? Yeah. Okay. Lady. Okay. <laughs> Man, is there somebody else here I could talk to? What? No, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. Okay. Rescue units with the Fresno Fire and Police Departments and an ambulance from a nearby hospital were immediately sent to the scene. Okay, are you sitting down? Yeah, I'm on the kitchen floor. Okay, are you sitting down? Yes. Okay, what you need to do is you need to get a clean, dry cloth. Yeah. And put it right on the end. Is it completely off? The main thing I needed to do was get the blood stopped. Is it completely off? Initially, he was real hard to get under control. I just wanted to keep talking to him and keep him calm. All right, what's your name? Listen, the ambulance is already on the way. What is your name? Ann Madrigal. Ann? Yeah. He said Ann, and I didn't realize it was a boy. Okay, listen, Ann, the paramedics are on the way. I wanted to get his name so that I could develop a rapport with him, someone that he could trust. Okay, how did this happen? I was just messing around with the M80 and it blew my hand off. Okay. It's not off, but it's all mangled. Ah, I the inside of my hand. When I found the M80, I was really concerned because they are the equivalent to a fourth of a stick of dynamite. Did you get the cloth? Yes, I... Listen, 
If he was holding his hand at that age, his hand being so small, I really thought he'd lose his hand. Take it, put the towel over it. And I didn't want him to believe that because he would become completely hysterical. Yeah. Okay, raise it up so it's e even with your shoulder. Even with my shoulder. And listen to me. It's going to hurt when you squeeze it down, but you need to squeeze it down to stop the flow of blood, okay? Shoulder. Ah. You can hold it straight out in front of you. Just hold it up even with your shoulder above your heart. Yeah. By covering his hand up with the towel also, he's not going to be able to see his hand. So it's going to take his mind off that and then just listen to me telling him what to do. This seems like a dream. Okay, how old are you, Ann? I'm 12. 12 years old? Yeah. Okay. In my shoulder, right? Ah, my hand is all bleeding and everything. I understand that. Listen to me. When I was 14 years old, one of my friends was playing with a cherry bomb. And it went off in his hand. His hand was closed when it went off and he lost his hand because of it. It's something you don't really forget. And they, they're on their way as fast as possible. They can't get there any faster. I'm, I'm going to die. You're not, and, and listen, it's, it's your hand that's, that's probably not going to happen, OK? You want to lose my hand? Well, I don't know. I can't see it. OK. I didn't want to promise him anything you know, that wouldn't come true. Oh, OK. Yeah. And listen. This is something a 12-year-old should not have to endure. I heard this, oh, I thought, what was that? Thinking, oh, he was watching a movie. Oh, I love you, Mom. Yeah. Is anybody there with you by yourself? No, my mom just got me home. Um, okay. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You hold that for me? I remember hearing the sirens. But we're very close to the hospital. Sirens are a common occurrence. I didn't think twice. The smoke was filling the room. I just said, what happened? Disbelief. Oh, come on, it can't be that bad. There was very much of a belief after I opened it and looked at it. Once they arrived, I was totally confident that the child would be taken well care of. When I looked at that hand, I did not see any fingers. I saw a stub. I saw a big... That's it. Paramedic Kurt Kindig treated Aaron's hand at the scene. Oh, okay. We were trying not to get him to look at his hand when we were unwrapping it. I thought that he was going to be deformed or, or uh, disabled for the rest of his life. Sorry, he kept saying, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm all I could think of was him with all his fears, all of his dreads of what life without a hand is going to be. Mom, I blew my hand off. I will always remember that when I go away. At St. Agnes Hospital, doctors, including plastic surgeon George Maury, managed to save Aaron's hand. But he still faces months of painful physical therapy, and his hand will never be the same again. all of them. Aaron's made dramatic strides, and uh, that's largely due to his ability to tolerate the pain required for him to move his hand. I think that we are extremely lucky. He's going to have a shortened middle finger because the tip was blown away. And he'll have some diminished strength, but it could have blown his hand completely off. So I think he's very lucky. In 1990, more than 12,000 people were treated for injuries involving fireworks. Nearly half were children under the age of 15. When I was at the hospital, I just thought how stupid I was to fool around with one at all. 
He is a good boy. He's very bright. I think he feels bad, like, boy, I blew it. I always thought, no, I'm never going to get my hand blown off the firecracker. I'm not that stupid. No, there's no way. The ignorance is the worst part. I don't think I ever had any real anger towards him about it. I was angry at the situation. You know, it's like a gun. Let them know how dangerous they are somehow, some way. You know, get, get educated. I wasn't.